Hello guys, so you join me for another video where we're going to be actually installing the engine. I'm really looking forward to this as long as it goes alright because you know what things to be like. So I'm going to show you the engine and the bits we've fitted back onto it. I know I was going to do a video on reinstalling bits on the engine but I thought it's, it's not that much content because it is literally just bolting on the stuff I took off in the previous video. So I think the main thing everyone wants to see is the engine actually be installed. So I'll show you what I've done to the engine and then we get straight to it and install it. Here's the engine all nice and painted up on the roller ready to go under the car and then we're going to lift it from up. Everything silver has been coated. It is looking absolutely amazing. And this obviously this has been coated. that's been coated. I'm going to take that off and spray that um once it's in and then yeah i've got a few new items that i'm adding to it which i will show you now and they look absolutely incredible and i can't wait to see them in the car we've got this lovely top half of the tire and belt cover this goes obviously there but i've taken it off while we install it but that's going to look immense one of the biggest things I cannot wait to try and see in the car is this amazing shifter, a CAE shifter. Bought this from CP Performance. And if you've ever used one of these, the, they're basically next step from a short shifter. Still H pattern, but the gear changes are so short and it feels like you're loading a machine gun. Absolutely love it. it all set up ready to lift it line up the engine mounts on either side um, but I need to remove the bonnet because that's gonna catch so let's do that and then we'll get back on it engine is now in and I'm so happy it's in and that's over because it's always a headache getting an engine in. New mounts are on, front mounts on, we'll do the gearbox mount at a later date but now I'm going to start feeding the cables for the shifter through so that one got to go through that hole and connect to there another one that goes through that hole goes through this one and connects to there so let's do that and then we can then line up the shifter.
So the gear stick is now in and what an amazing thing. First, second, third, fourth and fifth. Needs a little bit of adjusting but man that is a short shifter and it feels like loading a gun. I like that a lot. So thanks for watching this video. In the next video, hopefully, we'll be getting it ready to start. So uh, just waiting for a rocker cover to be back and some gaskets, and then we can plumb it all up, put the coolant in, put the new oil in, and then start it up. So that should be the next video. And again, sorry I didn't film much of actually installing the shifter. My phone died, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to get it in. So I'm happy it's in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Look at my knob wobble. <laughs>